Hey, hi, Bob the Spider Hunter here. Hey, thanks for tuning in, good to see you. Um, just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be showing a quick little, oh, the, the beard, the green beard. Well, it's it's St. Patty's Day, so I thought I'd celebrate that. So, at the end of the video, stay right to the end, so instead of a blooper, I got a little Irishness for you. For the lads and the lassies on St. Patty's Day. <laughs> anyway, uh, just giving you a quick review of some of the spiders that uh, have been winterizing with me. In particular, I've enjoyed the uh, the third year resident, if you will, Fitipisodics, bold jumping spider. Uh, she's uh, she's on her last legs because this is about this is year three, so she won't be around much longer. And then I have a couple others too who have also been uh, staying with me. So enjoy these short clips. Not a long video today, short one, but also. Uh, um, hey, stay safe uh, in this time of the coronavirus that's all over the world. Um, keep safe out there. Uh, think sharply, wisely, make good decisions, and hopefully uh, we'll see an end to this maybe by the end of summer. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Well, it's approaching the end of January 2020, and I still have uh, managed to keep this, this gal alive. She gets morning water drinks and a little bit of web she makes, she gets crickets. And so far it's been keeping her quite healthy. There's a cricket in a little part of her web now, trying not to be moving at all. Well, that would really draw some attention from the spider. Now, because the spider hasn't eaten in a week, I was able to get a cricket to her finally. And um, because of the lack of protein, then the lack of being able to produce webbing to wrap up her prey is also absent. So even though she flares her spinnerets, very little material comes out to wrap up its prey. But still she goes through the motions as if the webbing was there. At least she'll have something to eat, gain some protein, and then hopefully we'll be able to produce webbing again. I'm just glad she took a cricket. Because earlier attempts to bring a cricket to her have failed. Today, a different story. I tell you what, I don't know too many spider hunters that go to the extreme that I do to make the spider's habitats, the, the ones I keep at home for a little while, as nice as what I give to them. Anyway, take a look at this. This is for a little white and pink sided crab spider. And I'll tell you what, I think she's going to like being in here. Got it all cleaned out, rid of all the dead flies, all the old foliage it sticks out, and this is new. And I think she's going to have a good time in here, and uh, I hope she likes it. I'm sure she will. <laughs> here comes your new habitat, girlfriend. Okay, time to insert one spider. Where are you? Let me find you here a second. Ah, yeah, here she is in the jar. She was waiting for me to uh, fix up her new habitat and uh, see if I can get her out and introduce her to her new home. Yeah, should we go down and take a look? I think you're going to enjoy your new habitat. Look at all the luscious colors you got to sit on and wait for flies to come and visit. Maybe you'd like the uh, 
brown eyed Susan over here. Like that one? No? Now, would you rather go to the trumpet flower vine? <laughs> Maybe? No? You're content to sit on the stick, I see, huh? Is that gonna be your new place? I don't think it's as nice as the others. I may have to help you get off. Ooh, you're very stubborn this morning, aren't you? Oh, you stinker, you! <laughs> you're making this very difficult, you know. Now come on, get on a flower. You aren't gonna get up, look at you. <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? I guess I'm just gonna have to love you. Well, you're gonna come on my hand or sit on the stick all day then? Your choice. You need to make a decision. You can't sit there on the wood. Oh, come on. We need to get you off the stick and into your new habitat. Are you crabby this morning? All right, let's try this one more time. You gonna cooperate this time? Yeah, you want to take a leap of faith? Oh, guess not. Why don't you go ahead and make your way off my hand? There you go. Look at you. This girl's been uh, winterizing with me all winter. Yeah, she's been, uh, this is her third year. Actually, a little, almost, almost a little over three years now. So she's, she's probably uh, going to be, this will probably be her last year to be with me. Uh, we'll see uh, how long she lasts. I'll keep her fed and watered. Her, her, her eyesight's not so good anymore, so she has a hard time uh, seeing the uh, crickets or flies at a distance but if they're up real close to her uh, she can see them and uh, doesn't hesitate to have a meal so we'll put her back in the window so she can get some nice sunshine and enjoy her day Top with the warning to you, lads and lassies. It's going to be a great day. My Irish eyes are smiling this morning. I was down with me dog and walking, and I saw a rainbow. And I run to the rainbow, and lo, bo, lo and behold, at the end of the rainbow, I found a wonderful treasure. Ho, ho. Oh, my Irish eyes, they are smiling, lads and lassies. Let me show you what I found. I had to take it into my house because I'm afraid somebody might steal my treasure. No blarney about it. Okay, here we are. I'm in my house. 
house and I got it under this thing right here. Oh, take a look. Oh, lads and lassies, check it out. Oh, now I know you're asking yourself, what in the world is this? This is toilet paper. Green toilet paper. Oh my goodness sakes. Do you realize that this is, oh my goodness, worth its weight in gold? Do you know what the price of toilet paper is today? Oh my goodness, lads and lassies, this will be me a fortune. Woohoo! And every time I touch a roll of toilet paper, it turns green. <laughs> Ooh. Shh, don't let anybody know I got this treasure here in my I'm house. I'm just here on my throne. And, and I'm just in wonder, dazzled by this wonderful gift. This treasure worth its weight in gold of toilet paper. Hmm. Hmm. Now, if only there was a way I could figure out how to make my brown nuggets into golden nuggets, hoo -hoo, I'd be a millionaire. Hoo -hoo. Happy St. Patty's Day, lads and lassies. Have yourself a good day, lots of good luck, and may the sun be upon your face and the warm winds against your back. Bye now, I gotta go. Mm. Oh, all done.